Hello, loves. Today, I want to do a reading for the collective. So, let's go here. Let's see, uh, let's see what kind of messages we got. And jump right in. Ooh, four of wands. I freaking love it. Oh my god. This is literally the 11 11 card. I mean, look at it. 11 11. That's literally what's happening on earth right now, okay? Um, the earth is extending to higher vibrations. We're going to the force de density extension, like moving into a new 5D world. That may take some time as we go through the ascension process. However, I always read the Four of Wands as the 11-11 card. I mean, literally, one, 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 one. It doesn't get any clearer than that. It's freaking fabulous. I mean, you guys see, I only do jumpers, so I can't even control what comes out. And I'm still... Here, we're just going to give it a couple more shuffles before I even try to get any more cards. Okay, so that's freaking awesome. Okay, wow. Okay, we've got Ten of Cups, and we've got Nine of Swords. Okay, let me get one more, and then, um, yeah, you guys know I like to get all my cards out before I do my reading, so I can kind of see everything that's going on through the whole picture, and I think that's okay. Emperor, I freaking love it. That's, oh, it's also another four. We've got two fours on the outside, and I pulled four, four cards. Four is foundational, four is stable, four is, okay, um... All right, let me get the clarifiers because I'm already ready to jump in, but I want to see. Okay, so let's look at the shadow side. This is what I'm going to use this deck for. Maybe, like, the darker side of what things are happening. I'm also going to use it to clarify. So it could be the underlying, the, uh, like, the unconscious stuff, the stuff we don't see, right? Okay, whoa, okay, whoa! That's freaking awesome. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, so... Wheel of Fortune. This is like totally meant to be. This is exactly, I mean, okay, so this is literally predicted um, in a few different places. I mean, the Mayan calendar ended. They said we were going to go through this in like 2012 and it's, it's happening now. The Law of One talks about it. Oh my God, I'm totally going to say this wrong, but um, why can't I think of the word? The, the images in the hindu culture um god why can't i think of this um they've figured this too anyways if you go back and study like ancient cultures and ancient texts and all the stuff they've talked about this coming this coming of age right um and it's happening now that's the wheel this is destiny right okay so ah <laughs> six of cups okay so we can reunite back with ourselves our true selves let's see seven of pentacles there we go. Okay. Let's see. Two of Pentacles. And three of Wands. Okay. So, interesting how we have a two and a three and a six and a seven and the wheel here. And we have two fours here. Wow, and a nine and a ten. Look at all those repeating cards. That's freaking awesome. Okay. We've also got an Oracle deck here. We're just going to pull some like. I don't know, maybe overall, under all energies, lessons. Let's see what we need to know collectively. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh you guys can't even see it. It flipped up right so I can see it. Whoa, did something else flip? Okay. Um, I don't... It's so funny. Because I don't know when that flipped, but I swear I just shuffled. Okay, I'm going to take those. Okay, wow, that's so interesting. Okay, let's put this here. Okay, so the first card that came out is Harmony, right? Okay, flip that over here. Expression. So there was another card that was turned over. However, I think it was, I'm so confused because I just shuffled, but I didn't see it flip. I didn't feel I should pull it. It said Vision, but that kind of goes with Expression to me. So we've got Ownership. And we've got... Detachment. Okay, so oh, let's start with the two fours. Okay, so we're going to do a collective read. Um, this might be a little bit more esoteric, a little woo-woo. That's just how my beliefs line, and that's the energy I tap into. Um, so, okay, we've got the two fours. We've got the two fours because the emperor is a four on the outside. This is what's really going on, on the outside that we may not see, okay? Everything that happened last year with the pandemic, 
um, everything had started crumbling in. It was really, we had to go in, in. We had to go inward, right? Fours are building that stable foundation. We had to be strong because we're going into the fourth density, right? Fourth heart chakra. That's what literally talks about in the law of one. Extending, um, short answer, is law of one. They talk about how the earth uh, extends to the different levels of consciousness. And it's, it's just think of it like going up the chakra system. So we've been in that, that um, third density. We're in the chemical body. We're in that... Uh, solar plexus energy and we're going to the fourth density extension right you know individually we're going through it collectively we're going through it mother guy is going through it so that's the fourth the fourth fourth chakra right going to the fourth density extension however tapping into last year because i want to do collective read and obviously like what's going on collectively everything's been happening is the pandemic right so we had to get strong we had to get stable we had to like figure out our energy and get everything balanced because here's the thing there's a lot <laughs> i mean generally there's been a lot of shifts right um to go from this chemical body like I was just talking about third density go into a more light body now it's just starting it's a process this will take many many years for the collective uh the collective and individually and mother guy to go through this process however we can't just be all light body I mean once we're there and we get into more like 5d you know we're tapping into like telepathy and teleportation and just like all the psychic senses all the clairs everything's like tapped in it's more unity and harmony right there's a harmony so that's the goal that's what we're leading to so there was a purpose behind everything that happened last year right so we could awaken some of us have been awakening um before all this happened some of us the 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 great awakening that's the other thing um you know even dolores cannon talks about all the stuff too so the great awakening started happening in 2020 um beginning of the year i don't know if you noticed but if you think about it just think about this for a second Think about people you know back in January. I started noticing little by little shifts of people I know. Now, I'm very, like, in touch with my spiritual side. However, you know, maybe um, some people in my neighborhood aren't. Or my family isn't. Like, my brother is not. And then all of a sudden, he was open to all this, like, holistic healing. And he let me sage him for, like, the first time to do crystals. And I was like, what? What's happening? Like, this is not you. Like, he is so far 3D in the Matrix. But I'm using that example to say, going back to January 2020... I'm sure you started noticing people little by little just starting to like slowly wake up, you know, like he's still living in the matrix. However, he's like little by little getting more in touch with like, okay, you know, think about maybe someone's like, oh my God, he's trying a breathing technique or a meditation or just connecting with nature or going outside little, these little things that were happening. I started noticing them back in January. Okay. For other people, it may not have happened until a little bit later. Sorry, that was bothering me. Um, when the pandemic happened, obviously in, in March, it, here in the States, when we all went on lockdown, we were forced to go in, inside, literally, that forces us to go inward, okay? So maybe that's when some of the stuff started happening, because literally the, the pandemic, everything that happened was to trigger the awakening with Mother Gaia, within ourselves, within the collective, um, all to move into fourth density extension, the fours. Okay, so nines, 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 that's where you're leaving behind, and okay, so I'm not sure where you're at in the world. However, here in the States, little by little, we're lifting the mask mandate and things are becoming more open. So we've been stuck in this kind of swords energy. There's a, been a lot of people that have um, actually felt this as the exact opposite and they have not gotten in touch with that energy and they stayed in hibernation and, and stayed in that fear-based energy and that's fine. No judgment. That's their choice to make. We're on different levels of consciousness. So that's where their level of consciousness is, right? So maybe they needed to stay in there um, and, and that's their choice. Like I said, no judgment. However, this is breaking free because look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We we literally um, had a year of Nine of Swords. And then this year, especially now, it's getting warmer and everything. We're going to the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is, is celebration, coming together, like happy reunions and families and the, the happy family, right? So now we can go out and not be afraid to like hug somebody or spend time together or see your family maybe you haven't seen in a long time because it's reconnecting of souls right all of this happened we had to isolate and separate from each other to go within to get the answers so many people i know um i could give you a million different examples like some people who were totally against it and they didn't like this actually went within and then they were like wow little by little it kind of like they freaking hated the lockdown at first and they're like okay well I reconnected with an old hobby or a passion or I grew or something and they're like it wasn't so bad and other people freaking loved it they're like I get to work from home this is amazing and it's wherever you're at in the process right but it's just leaving that behind okay I feel like there's a lot of past energy I want to do what's going on now because this belt built right the foundation to where we're at now we had to go through the, that to get to where we're now think about this this way um you have to go through the dark to get to the light right um 
through any trauma, grief, sadness, any darkness, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. There's always something that happens and we grow and we learn and we evolve from it. So it served a purpose. It definitely served a purpose collectively. Um, here's the thing. And I don't know if, let me, I, sorry, I've not been looking at the cards. I'm picking up on another energy. I, I've been hearing it, hearing it, hearing it since um, the cards came out. I kept hearing death door. And I'm just going to look at the tap on the cards for a second because I want to see what we had besides these. Okay, so we have the, okay, maybe it's a detachment. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so I wanted these to be the shadow of the darker side. Two of Pentacles. We had a road. You could choose what you wanted to do, right? It's free will. So we're all, like I said, we're all at different levels of consciousness. Okay, so fork in the road. Which way is going to happen when everything, when everything went down? Am I going to go within and find the answers and reconnect with myself? Or am I going to choose to stay in that fear-based energy and um, not come out and hibernate, right? So the choice is yours, okay? For the people that actually chose not to um, live in fear, this reconnected with them, with others, with souls. They they they, they chose to see this as um, a time of, to me, I'm sorry, there's no bad in life. So I, I can sit here and say I'm grateful for it. I learned a lot. I grew a lot. So that's what this kind of energy is is um reflecting to me like i said destiny with the wheel however seven pentacles perfect there's that death of energy i was thinking of okay detachment attachment attachment going to the attachment and what did i see over there okay i'm gonna kind of tap on those two expression ownership but we'll kind of go back to those okay so this was something somebody said to me one time and i honestly I can't even remember where i heard it it was not in person it was like um on youtube or um a blog or a book i can't even remember right it was somewhere um when i was learning something about this, my um, spirituality and the journey we're all on and the collective and stuff. But somebody said something and so there's a death door, right? We have many death doors in life and that's what I reflect on this because that's what I'm kind of feeling. Okay, so meaning that there's not just a set time and stone that you could die. Like I'm just going to say this for example, but let's say something happened um, at the age of 22, tragic. Well, your soul, your higher self could have came together and said, hey, um, you know, in the higher planes, right? And said, hey, well, this is your choice. Do you want to and um, your time on earth here now, and you can kind of come back later. It, it just, it death door is basically, it, what I'm trying to say is, is your higher self um, on a soul level, on the higher soul planes has, um, you have many options. So maybe you've had 22 death doors. Maybe you've had zero. I don't know. I don't even know if it's a real thing. Somebody said it and it kind of resonated. And so I brought it up a couple times and I kept hearing it. So I felt like I needed to go into the reading. So here's the thing. Um, we had a lot of, deaths last year right um not to take away from anybody's pain anybody's grief anybody's anything like I, I don't wish um that on anybody anybody that lost a mother a brother a sister um a husband a wife whatever it is a cousin an uncle whatever it is I am so sorry for your loss like I don't wish that on anybody um but what this I feel is coming for is that they chose on a soul level to exit at that time and, you know, maybe we have these options all through our life uh, when something happens. Your higher self can say, hey, do you want to continue in this lifetime? Because I believe in re reincarnation. And um, let, let's say you're like a near-death experience. Things get really hard. And you have that option. Do you want to go back or do you not? There's thousands of stories out there where people are given the option. Do you want to go back or do you not? So that could be a death door, for example. Wow, I've never put that together. I kind of just put that together at the moment. Okay, so that's what it kind of feels like. A lot of people, because here's the thing. Okay, um, back to the law of one. If you, okay, so there's no bad in life. I believe there's just, things just are, okay? Um, the law of one kind of touches on that where, where it's um, your soul after it's in third density, like think the third chakra, a solar plexus energy, um, has the choice when it gets to the fourth density, the fourth, the fourth chakra to go basically to polarize. Okay. That's what like the law of one is, is here saying that you could go into the light or you could go into the dark and it's up to you. And there is no bad because the reason there is no bad. Okay. Um, really wasn't trying to have this be a whole lesson. However, I can't help what's coming out, especially when I start talking like this. I know that I'm channeling something. I try to slow it down when I'm reading, so I'm not talking too fast. However, it's just spewing out of me, so I feel like this is important to say, you know? Um, so I'm just going to go with it. Okay, so really quick, and I can all, I can do a, a, mess, a, a video on like a way deeper explanation of this. I'm barely touching any of this stuff. If anybody's interested, you could just let me know in the comments. However, I kind of want to stick the reading, but I just want to give you a little bit of backstory so you're not just like 
what is she talking about? Love one, Laura's Canyon, death doors. Like, what is she even saying, right? Okay, so Law of One says that there's, um, oh, okay, so here's how I blew it. There's only one source energy, right? Like, you're God, I'm God, this table's God, this card is God, those crystals are God. Like, we're all a piece of God. This is what I believe, right? Because there's only one energy. And I believe that we all broke off into, let's say what, there's almost 8 billion people. 8 billion people in this world, but it's, we're all just pieces of source, God, uh, whatever you want to call it, right? It, it, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever relates to you when you call it God, energy, source, Godhead, that's fine. The universe, something. Okay, and so the law of one says, okay, um, I'm trying to think how to simplify this really, really short into one or two sentences without going on a huge tangent. Um, I guess in my words, how I would say, again, you could do your own research on this or I could do a video on it. Um, short answer is, Source can't know itself. So source split us up into all of these fragments of itself and to go experience itself. So you so source knows what, what it's like to be sad, to be happy, to cry, to be to be joyful, to celebrate, like all the different emotions, right? So there's no good or bad. Source is just trying to know itself, but we're all source. You take up all those almost eight billion people, all the plants, all the animals, the tables, the cards, because everything's energy, right? This is energy. Well, it's all just vibrating, like nothing is even solid, it's just vibrating really fast. Um, so it's all just energy. So if you take all the energy in the world, like the, the table, the plants, the animals, the humans, the cards, all of them, put it together, it makes one source energy or God or the universe or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's fine. So there's no judgment with a law of one. It's really just the soul's source brought out here split up into all these fragments to get to know itself so back to what i was saying oh, sorry i like went on this huge tangent and i'm trying not to get off the reading however uh what really esoteric woo there so hope some of you are following me and <laughs> didn't lose a lot of you however i guess this needs to be said i didn't even think we were going to go here but um okay so there, there's no good or bad there's a the splitting of timelines that's happened dolores cannon talks about it too and so it's just wh which timeline are we going to go on? So some people um, are choosing to, let's say, go out the death door because they don't want to go on the timeline of fourth density, going into the 5D um, New Earth and all the stuff. So a lot of people chose, I believe, to um, depart from this Earth last year because they weren't on that's the, the splitting of timelines. OK, there's a splitting of timelines here in the physical that's like. What do you, which, which, oh, sorry, it, it, it's hard to, it's hard to really do this reading without giving you this whole, um, educational piece with it. And I'm really not trying to do that. I was trying to just read the cards. So I like keep going back in to like kind of explain what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, there's this splitting of timelines here in the physical where it's like, which path are you going to choose? Are you, are you going it, to, it's a vibrational thing. So are we going to, go on the extension path and, and vibrate higher and keep going towards 5D or are you going to stay behind, right? So um, the people that were staying behind, maybe at the vibrational rate they were at, chose that this was not the path they wanted to take and they chose to uh, leave planet Earth, which is fine because guess what? There's reincarnation and some of us aren't even here from planet Earth um, and maybe they're going to go back and do third, third density consciousness on another planet or they'll reincarnate again if Whatever, I can't speak on that. I'm just saying. I kept hearing death door and I pulled this card. So let's bring it back in, right? Okay, sorry. That was a lot. Death door was going on. So we'll go with it. I guess that needed to be said. I'm kind of really um, uneven, like spinning right now. I'm trying to get grounded. So I feel like that was a lot of heavy energy. Okay, so right. The split. Oh, look at two of pentacles, right? The choice is yours. Which path are you going to take? Um... Splitting up timelines. That's so funny. So the three, the three, the three. This is the stuck energy. I feel, wow. Okay, I don't even know this is what I'm feeling, hearing right now, feeling, is, um, okay, I'm going to say this first. Me personally, I believe the light is already won. Like, we're all going to connect back to source after we go to, like, 3D, 4D, 5D, 60, 70, 70, think seven chakra, we tech back to source, and then we come over and do it all over again in the universe and the like, whatever. Anyways, however, um, what I was feeling with this, is even though I personally believe like the light's already won, you know, because this was all about lessons getting us into alignment. Um, three of Wands, what's coming in now is everything that happened last year did not have to take as long as it did. Um, 
Hmm, I'm feeling like that push pull energy and something kind of dragged its feet with that. However, I literally am just feeling this for the first time, so I'm not even sure what that is, but like, hey, that's not, I, I'm, okay, so something, okay, let's get back in the car. Something took a little bit longer um, to restore the balance and harmony, right? Okay, not all people were able to detach. Um, that attachment, I actually feel is a healing card. There's more positive outcomes from it that when people went within, they learned how to detach from outcomes and expectations and uh, people, attachments, right? And I feel like this, a lot of peace with this. I feel like this is where we're going. This is where we've been. The harmony, the detachment is like this interpersonal uh, journey we're all on. Okay, well, we're going to come back to the Three of Wands because there's something with this, but I'm not, I'm still stuck, right? Okay, so the death door is the choice. This, um, hmm. okay, expression and ownership, right? Okay, so ownership, this, oh, that feels like a hard pill to swallow for some. Having to step up and be responsible, not for just for yourself, but like um, your responsibilities. And it's almost like, being responsible for your actions. It feels like this was a huge learning lesson collectively um, that people really had to take ownership and uh, stop pointing the finger and um, owned their part and what they did wrong in different experiences because I'm feeling a lot of forgiveness with this, but it feels, it feels um, self-forgiveness. I feel this as a collective card the ownership, I feel the detachment as a collect, it's funny, it feels individually, but the individual healing that's happening with this is affecting it collectively. Harmony to me is feeling like Mother Gaia, like all of this is happening for a reason. Um, I keep like feeling, um, I don't know if I feel it. It's just, I, I don't know how to explain that one. Sorry. Something with the harmony. The only way I can explain it, and I'm sorry, I keep throwing in my personal beliefs, but I'm just like, um, it's kind of how spirit is relating with this. I don't do a lot of collective readings. However, I don't know. I just felt to do one today. I didn't even know it was going to come out. I came in with no plan, right? Okay. The harmony to me feels like Mother Gaia. So like what I believe is Maybe you relate, maybe you don't. Maybe this reading means nothing to you. I don't know. Uh, there's that self-doubt, right? But that might not even be me. Maybe that's you. It's whatever. It's fine. Um, harmony. Okay, so like I believe all the earthquakes, the tsunamis, the like all the stuff, the natural fires, like everything that's happening uh, globally for some time is Mother Gaia, right? She's stuck. Okay, um... Damn it. I'm sorry. I don't want to go on these lessons, but I'm trying to explain feelings I feel with the cards to relate what is being channeled through me to spirit. And I'm like, ah, oh. so I, whatever. Okay. Let me get out of my own way and just say what I feel because this is what I feel. And so the card came up for a reason. So I have to relate the message. Okay. So our bodies are carbon based, but when we go into 5D, we have to go into the light bodies, right? Earth is iron based at its core. However, the crystalline energy has been starting to change in form for some time. And so we're shit. That's that to me means it's shifting into higher levels of consciousness going into fourth density. So how do you get rid of all the garbage, the shadow, all the, all the violence, all the, all whatever's been going on in the world. So mother guy has to shake up the planet literally to change her vibration this is what i believe and this is what i'm feeling with the cards so that's why i think all the earthquakes and tornadoes and tsunamis and wildfires and mudslides and all the stuff that's happened in the world to me was like purposeful because mother gaia was shaking out the shadow and leaving behind the the third density to go to fourth density i'm sorry that's just what i feel with the card okay all right so whoa back to spinning let's reel it back in okay this is mother gaia the harmony like i just said attachment like i said now i'm repeating myself i'm sorry i'm just trying to wrap it together so i don't lose you guys individual journey attaching from outcomes and you're learning manifestation attaching from people really just not holding um any unhealthy attachments like you don't have any expectations or any attachment outcomes. This is a freeing energy. People are finding this individually. Like I said, collectively, the ownership is happening. Um, 
It's all about self-forgiveness. It's a really, 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 really strong feeling. I'm feeling the expression. Okay. You know what I feel like that? A wild free spirit. Like people are so tapped into the feminine side. Okay. We all have masculine energy. We all have feminine energy within us, right? So they are just getting creative and being artistic and doing stuff that they would never do because maybe boredom sparked that up in them. However, it might have just started with journaling or going for a walk. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just looked at the camera. Journaling or go for a walk or whatever it is. The next thing you know, you're dancing in your kitchen every day while you're cooking or cleaning or something and you're just creative and you're maybe you're painting or whatever it is, but this feels like creative expression like this is a freaking beautiful energy that we're all finding within us that's what it feels like okay all right so we touched on all the, the tarot let's go on the bottom ones like i said a choice bring us back in alignment with ourselves this is soulmate energy is reconnecting with self is what i'm feeling destiny like i said the death door coming in with no judgments understanding things just are um and i uh I don't know if that's my ego. Uh, okay, so Seven of Pentacles. I feel like that was a little heavy and I didn't want to be harsh when I was talking about the death doors and people dying. Um, because to me, like I said, there is nothing bad. I literally watched a lady die in front of me, like on the ground, dead over the summer. And I feel sadness for the family. But it was like my first thing was like worrying about her soul and her transitioning. So to me, there's like, there's no good or bad. Like to me, death should be celebrated. Let me put it like that. Because I don't, I uh, <laughs> I don't want to like stir up in the comments. There is, what do you mean? You don't understand. I lost someone. So I'm not taking away from your pain. I acknowledge your feelings. And I, you're definitely like, that's a hard thing to go through. Like I've lost my father. I've, I've lost my cousin last year. Like I understand that. Okay. I'm not taking away from your pain. I'm not trying to minimize it. I didn't mean to be, um... I don't know, I feel like that I needed to go back in with, but it's just, uh, to me, the, the best way to explain that when I was talking about those death doors is like, death should be celebrated, right? You chose to come here. You are such a badass being. You chose to come to one of the hardest planets in the world to, I'm sorry, the universe to go through the third density extension. This third density planet is hard. There's so much restriction. Yes, we have free will and some of our planets don't. However, this is a choice you made. Some of you are fellow light workers, and you chose to come here to raise the collective consciousness, which is a beautiful energy. With this death door energy I was feeling on, wrapping that back up is like death shouldn't be celebrated because you chose, you came here, you conquered, you, you your soul grew, you went through soul evolution, and you'll be back again. And everything that happened to you and happened to me and happened to him and her, like we chose this on a soul level. Like I believe in soul contracts. So like I've gone through, like I've had a crazy life and I'm just going to throw this in here so you can kind of understand. Like I went through abuse and drug addict and sexual assault and all this stuff. But like I don't blame the other person. I feel and I know, like these are my beliefs at least, that like I chose to go through those things. I believe before I came to earth, I signed a soul contract with my the guy who assaulted me. Uh, with with just saying I was going to sign up to be a drug addict. Saying I was going to sign up to be kidnapped. Saying I was going to sign up for this. Because you know what happened? It threw me into a dark night of the soul. A depression. And and it. But outside of that, then I woke up and it sparked this awakening. Like I'm grateful for everything that ever happened in my life. I wouldn't change a single thing. Because all lessons, you know. There was a time I kept repeating those lessons over and over and over. Until I finally like woke up. However... If you choose to just be positive all the time, there's no negative in the world. Like when something bad happens, you just say, okay, I can wallow in this and be mad and angry and resentful. And why did this happen to me? Or I could say, hey, this is a learning lesson. I'm going to grow from it. I'm going to evolve from it. Like this happened for a reason. Why did I manifest this? So I don't see death as a bad thing. I feel these people chose to go out of the death door. I say for me that like I chose to come here and go through all these hardships for soul evolution. So maybe they had gone through their soul evolution. Their time was up. Maybe they split off the timelines and went out. Whatever that was. There's nothing needs to be sorrow. One, you can connect with them anytime. Like I talk to my dad all the time. You know. And two, it, they're, they'll come back. Reincarnation is real. You can't be apart from somebody. We're all part of the same source. So... I am you, you are me. It's all the same energy. When you understand that, like death is not a sad thing because you have your guides, your angels are always watching out for you, but so are your part of loved ones. Like they're there. You can speak to them, but you are them. They are you. There's no sadness because you're just being sad for yourself when it's like, wait, you are a part of me. Um, 
that's a whole other <laughs> going out on a tangent again. Sorry, what am I doing? Sorry, I don't know. I hope you guys found some of this useful. Maybe you've learned a lot. I didn't even mean to for this to be a learning uh, spread. However, I don't know. Maybe I lost some of you guys, and she's like, "You guys are whoa. She's so esoteric. Whoa, whoa. We'll see. Okay. So I was trying to wrap this up. So like I've been kind of repeating myself. That should be celebrated. Um, you can reconnect with them at any time. They're watching over you. And they chose that as you chose whatever hardships you're going through. If you, Last thing I want to say on this, if you're struggling with something right now, remember on a soul level, you signed up for this. You're choosing to go through this for soul evolution, for growth, to learn, you know, to help somebody, to help yourself, whatever it is. So when something like when I get triggered, I just ask myself, why did I manifest this? What can I learn from this? And I say I'm grateful. Whether I believe it or not, I'll say it. And I may not mean it, but maybe by the third time I might. And by the fifth, I'll start to have a little smile and a smirk. And then I like tell myself I believe it. And I believe it because it's your beliefs, you know, just what you believe is your reality. So I, I change my realities all the time and I don't let that be my reality. So, you know, I'm human and we all um, have emotions and reactive minds. So, of course, I get triggered. And, of course, sometimes like, at that, that, at this, at that, blah, blah. But then I'm like, pull myself back in and check that as may go and say, wait, I'm grateful. I may not know it right now. I may not be able to see it, but it's happened for a reason. So again, with that energy, if you're struggling right now, um, maybe you're grieving somebody or whatever, you can connect with them, but also like, why did you manifest this? This is happening for a reason. This is all part of soul evolution and growth, right? We're all reconnecting back to source. Going through, We're all going through the ascension process together. Short answer, that's the short answer. Some of us are going at a faster rate. Some of us are going slower rate. No judgment, no good or bad. We're just all at different level of consciousness. Things just are, okay? This is the choice. This is the one I didn't go back to, right? This is the choice. Okay. I know things were slowing down. I was really surprised I said that, but I felt like things went a little bit slower last year than they should have been. It kind of felt like the, what I was feeling is the pandemic should have been over like this. I feel like it was supposed to come in and leave and it was supposed to be gone. However, something slowed it down. I'm not sure what that is. That's what I was just being told from spirit, so I feel like I needed to say it, okay? But also now, they're kind of relating this with like detaching that outcome because that was the old timeline. We shifted. Okay, we shift parallel reality whatever every seven seconds blah, blah blah whatever anyways but that was an old timeline and we were supposed to be on it and then we shifted but guess what does it matter we're right back where we're supposed to be so it's okay so everything is a choice everything is a choice oh that's so funny i kept hearing with this but then that's relating why i just went on this huge tangent i heard death card or i'm sorry death door as soon as this card came out and i went on this huge tangent about grief and loss and somehow i wrapped it into personal um experiences going oh my god like well, this happened to me and i was like well i manifest this on a soul level i was like why am i talking about that i'm like that's not even the energy i'm feeling of the card but words are like word vomiting out of my mouth and i don't even know why and then i look at the three of three of wands to recap the last energies that i left behind because i said i touched back on them and i was hearing everything's a choice everything's a choice everything's a choice so to me if i hear that that time oh my god and i heard it three times and it's a freaking three card three of wands right i just heard that three times wow, i heard it in my right ear too i don't hear much my right ear i usually hear it on my left ear anyways whatever sorry that was me wow okay so to me that's confirming what i was saying because i just went off again on another tangent i was like why am i talking about this you know and i i i don't know this just happens sometimes with my channel i'm sorry guys but okay so that's what i was hearing everything's a choice so that reconfirms what i was saying is like when you're eager when you get triggered and you're in that reactive mind or or something happens your shadow pops up Ask yourself, why did I manifest this? And everything's a choice. Change your perspective. Change your beliefs. Change your life. Like, literally, it's as simple as that. Um, sounds easier said than done. There's way more to it. But that's just a short answer because I'm trying not to go on tangents anymore. But everything's a choice. So when something happens, you get triggered again. Uh, check that as your ego. Stay in the gratitude and move forward because we're now in positive forward moving energies. Like, things are speeding up. Time is speeding up. We, oh, Yeah. That's the other thing I was feeling. We were detached from, okay, because I was feeling like, what took so long last year when we were supposed to do it? They're like, forget it, forget it, forget it. Forget that outcome because that's gone. We're on this new timeline. That's fine. Whatever timeline we're on is where exactly we're supposed to be. That's destiny. So we're right where we're supposed to be. Again, like I said, it's just we're all at different levels of consciousness. So we're all just evolving on this journey together. But they were like, forget this. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I feel very... Um, safe peace energy coming in and i'm feeling very calm now so to me when the energy shifts like that the reading is usually done oh i feel like i need to take a breath maybe you need to take a breath with me that was kind of a lot and i really did not even mean to do a reading like that um 
I don't know. Sorry, guys. Maybe not sorry. Maybe this is great. Comment down below. Let me know. I always do the zodiac signs. This was kind of out, out of the blue. I was just like, let's do a collective reading. I didn't really know why. So if you learned something from this, comment down below. If you like these type of readings, comment down below. If you want me to talk about these topics, but like um, not in the tarot cards, but in more in like educational, like learning about this type of stuff, comment down below and let me know. I mean, even if you think I'm full of crap and you don't relate or whatever I just tell me like we all have different feelings beliefs opinions it's fine like if you don't agree and you're like I don't know what you're saying comment down below share your feelings I still want to hear where we're all at it's, it's cool to see where you're at where I'm at where he's at where she's at so yeah tell me the truth I don't care maybe it didn't resonate at all maybe it did like tell me what you feel guys let me know if I should do any more readings like this okay all right guys Thank you so much for watching. Uh, oh yeah, also if you liked the video um, and it resonated, do me a favor with that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you wanna subscribe, you can hit the subscribe button, but then also remember to hit that bell notification because if you hit the bell, you'll get notified of all my upcoming videos and I do videos every day and I don't want you guys to miss out on any. So make sure you hit that bell and then you'll get notified of my daily video. And then stay tuned, because tomorrow we're doing an all signs reading. So I'll get back to the zodiac signs, and we'll go through all of them tomorrow. So it should be fun. And I'm going to do it with the camera flipped around. So that will also be fun. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed.